Hello. <clears throat> okay. We're good. Hoping we're good. Don't want like dropped frames and shit. Alright, we should be good. <clears throat> I think. I hope. We'll find out. We will find out. Might as well start doodling some shit, right? <clears throat> Before I forget, air purifier, because you know, Los Angeles. pencil right now I don't think I don't think yo Sariana what's up dude how's it going turn the music up just a little bit for myself and good morning and good morning to you viscera <clears throat> how are you doing how is everybody on this fine Wednesday you know what I should have checked? I haven't. Oh, my ink levels. And we're good. We're good. Ain't no way we're getting through half a cartridge today. <clears throat> um, so I want to play more with those, like Guardian Demons. I basically, I think I just want to like generate compositions, right? That I can play with. Um, <clears throat> yeah, let's see where my. Uh, I didn't really check to see where my corners are, as far as like, you know, I can like go all the way down. Well, that's you can see that that's the, we're a little skewed, but that's okay. <clears throat> all right, we got the whole page basically. That's cool. That's cool. Right. Might be a little high. Can you guys even see those lines? Hardly. It's like just a little blown out over here. Let's see if we can do something about that. That's a little better, I think. <clears throat> I mean, they're super fine lines, so I don't expect you guys to see like every single thing. to get this a little more in view. That'll be okay. Alright. Alright, let's get into it. <clears throat> um, I feel like a lot of these, like, the concept is there kind of throughout, so I kind of feel like a lot of it really does just come down to composition and like interesting body language and then I'm sure I'll come up with other things as I explore 
the themes a bit more, right? Pockets, hello, and yes, the message does find me well, quite well. Had a good, uh, had a good week off, though, you know, it was strange when I got back and realized I didn't draw anything for a week. I even brought, like, my plain air painting kit and stuff, and I was... I actually really wanted to play in air paint, but the problem is there are all these fires that are going on up in Northern California. And the first couple days I was there, it was fine. And then the wind shifted and you know, you look at the weather forecast and it was just literally, it just said smoke. So um, it was like, yeah, I'm not gonna hang out outside for hours painting, breathing, breathing in smoke that <laughs> not, not gonna do that why would I do that All right. it don't make no sense Um, so I did like the uh, kind of crescent moon thing I had done on the previous one, which, you know, <clears throat> we might um, bring that back a little bit. And I will figure out exactly what this theme of the flowers and nature is all about. There's something in there, and I know there's something in there, but beyond just fun shapes to play with. <laughs> Mary, how are you? How are you? You guys, if you don't follow Mary, you're crazy, um, and you should. She is amazing. Um, has has just like such a great mix of. I know so many of of like my influences as well with Muka and Line Decker and, and just like really really fantastic shape design. Um, so y'all should definitely, let, let me get into the, uh, let's do this, let's do this, All right, there you guys go, go follow, go follow, no, I was watching your, I think your last stream, Mary, so I, I was watching the VOD, and dude, so good. 
so good. <clears throat> um, great, great example of if you want to get something done faster, work slower, right? Like just efficiency, efficiency will get you there faster than like rah, moving around at the speed of light. So, um, Yeah, super cool to watch. Mary, when are you streaming next? I think it, that one was a few days ago, right? Yes, amazing work. Also follow her on Instagram. Amazing, amazing Instagram feed. Um, so, you know, follow her links to all the places. This one to follow the moon a little bit this time. We'll see how that goes. I know these are tiny. <laughs> I could probably zoom in for you, huh? And still blown out. What the hell? Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Let's see what we can do about this for you. Might as well, might as well tweak this while we're, uh... I'm caught, I'm caught on stuff. I'm caught on stuff. There, that's a little better. <clears throat> Oh, well, I hope the day gets better, Mary. I do hope. Oz, how you doing? How are you, how are you? And our Frosty. Um, I am using my typical diamine ancient copper. It is my favorite ink. Um, I wish they also made this exact color in a waterproof ink, because I would love to use watercolor over the top, but it is so not waterproof, as you will see in just a little bit, which I also love, by the way. I love that it's not waterproof, um, because I like getting all watery and inky with it, but the option would be cool. And while you can get similar colors in a waterproof ink, they're not quite, they tend to be like too, either too red or too orange or who knows what. To this or to that.
think I want more. I'm gonna want more uh, flowery goodness in this. I'm actually working in my big mole skin today, by the way. This is the A3 size. Um, Cause I wanna do some larger drawings, so I figured I'd break out the, the big guns. best to not get on our keyboard. How about that? So this is why I love that those diamine inks, the fountain pen ink, because I can basically sketch, draw, paint, <laughs> whatever, whatever I want, whatever my little heart desires. Yeah, those birds. <laughs> the only thing is, so I'm debating, uh, I don't want to stop feeding them, but apparently there are some like birdie diseases going around that are like hitting a lot of the birds pretty hard. Avian pox and then something else that they honestly like, they don't even know what it is yet. They're trying to figure it out, but causing deformities and stuff. And, and they're saying that one of the ways it's Spreading is is basically through uh, close contact um, Which bird feeders obviously promote So I don't know <laughs> But I love my little goldfinches they're so cute Sparrows I could do without, they're kind of assholes. But. <laughs> but all my other birds. Goldfinches. Yellow rumped warblers. House finches. Morning doves, Eurasian collared doves, the occasional rose-breasted grouse beak. They are. We have here, it's mostly the uh, lesser goldfinch. Poor guys, just got the shittiest name. So they're not as the males are still like pretty golden you know but not as golden as like the california goldfinch which i think is also a little bit larger i think we're not gonna do the dreaded dots on the boobs because you know which <laughs> I still want to, when I think about it too much, I'm like, literally, like if I put two dots on here, they could 
ban me if they wanted to. I'm just like, <laughs> it's the stupidest thing. Oh my god. Twitch. Twitch. You guys. Some of these, though, I will take the opportunity to um, really get into the clothing, though, too, because I I love doing that kind of stuff, I, and especially, like, drapey stuff, which is so weird. I used to hate drapery so much, but now I quite like it. Pigeons. <laughs> Those boob dots. Like, I was thinking about it yesterday, you know, I'm like, when it comes down to it, what they're, what they're grousing about are literally, like, in art, either some kind of squi like, slightly squiggly marks, or a couple of ellipses. That. Uh, uh. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, I, I don't understand. I don't, don't understand. I mean, if we break it down that much, sure, we could make an argument for just about anything, but still. Still. Still, why is still blowing out? Yo, that's a little better. Though it still looks much hotter on screen. Didn't we deal with this already? Camera, or is it? Uh... See if we can get a better white balance in here. A little better. It still looks pretty hot on screen though. <clears throat> yeah, I'd be curious about that too because I see people get away with quite a bit. So I, I have a feeling they're not super strict. Like my guess is, and this is just a guess and I'm not really gonna, you know, test it too hard, but my guess is you'd have to probably render something a lot more. Um, and then of course, if you get into anything that, that does get a bit more, you know, provocative, uh, then they would probably come down on you pretty quick and pretty hard. And not in a good way. <clears throat> um, by the way, uh, well, Saturday, I think we'll be getting into to this one. We can see it reflecting the magenta lights. Ooh. Um, so I, I need that. It, it's basically the adhesive under the silver. I need it to dry more, right? And then I'll put a sealer over the top of it and then get back into the painting, <clears throat> finesse some of the edges and stuff um, but uh, yeah it should be end up getting some silver on her which is fine because I'm just gonna paint 
over that stuff anyway, so it's not really a big deal. Thanks, Mary. Thank you. Um. <clears throat> yeah, you would think so, Sariana, but the mature streams tend to... Like, doesn't that mostly just cover you being able to, like, swear? <laughs> like, I wish that it... I know it covers some content, but I think they have that more for the people who are, you know, gonna stream GTA. Good thing there's no sexually provocative stuff in that game. Um... Yeah, so anyway, we'll, Saturday, this should be ready to uh, do some painty paints on, and um, yeah. And it's fun, so, you know, the um, silver obviously takes on, and any of the metal leaf takes on the texture of, of whatever is below it. So this has a linen texture, as you guys can see. So I might do some stuff in the future where I, I don't know how I would tackle it exactly because I like painting on linen. Um, I love that texture. So I'd have to, I'd have to really plan it out because if I didn't want that, I'd have to put, I don't know, like modeling paste or something to kind of really cover up that texture, sand it down. Um, and do that and I'm not sure how I would do that and keep the linen in parts like that would take I feel like that would take more planning than I really want to do <laughs> um, like it's not so much the planning it would take more um, like just really precision work and I mean that's not how I like to paint I like to have a little more like freedom than that you know, being a sketch artist, I love the sketchy part of it. It's fun. Makes me happy. Why, why, why? Did that exposure change again? Does that look different this time? Because I keep bringing in new shit. That's okay. That's okay. Well, let's do some more. Um, <clears throat> Yo, Pedro, thank you for the sub, my friend. Thank you for the sub. Clarify some of the shapes here. I also liked the, um, in the other Crescent Moon piece, um, let's see. We won't test how far we can push Twitch today. <laughs> So a little 
little masking tape will cover up the naughty bits. Twitch, don't mind the gold pasties. Um, gold pasties, Twitch, see? Uh, I like the sword that our demon has in this one quite a bit. So, um, probably play with that theme a little bit. Yo, Cosmonaut, hello, hello. Yeah, I like this one a lot. Man, and it's so hard to beat. I love the texture of this. And it's the imitation gold flake and real gold flake does not get the same texture and it bothers me. Um, I might be able to get away with doing this and then real gold on top. It might take on some of that texture, maybe, I don't know. But, so I might try it. Um, anyway. Oh, thank you, Mary. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. <laughs> Thanks, Oz. I'm really loving this. Um, I think once I've found a bit more depth in the theme, right? Um, I just, I, I like, I really like that idea of facing facing your inner demons, right? And and using what you learn about yourself through doing that as, as your armor, right? Using that self-knowledge as your armor. Um, and I think once I found a bit more depth in that theme, rather than just being like, oh, guardian demon, that's more fun than a guardian angel, right? Like, because the, my, my issue with the guardian angel is is the concept of that is that somebody else is protecting you rather than you taking care of yourself right protecting yourself and i, I think that's what i love kind of once i figured this out a little more is is that it's because uh, one i'm i'm a big fan of you know taking responsibility for your own actions <laughs> Um, but also, you know, self-reflection and um, <clears throat> looking internally and, and um, gaining that self-knowledge. So, um, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, all that is to say, I like the sword. <laughs> um, and I want to do more with that. I don't know if they'll all, they won't all have a crescent moon, but I do like that as a visual um, and just as a graphic design element. Um, <clears throat> but I also want to play with some uh, that maybe use some kind of a, a design and not just necessarily a super simple graphic, right? But then you got to find that balance. Um, but for now, I do still love that uh, crescent. Um. <clears throat>
No. It is not Cosmonaut. Uh, too new. Too new. I did that one not very long ago. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Um, it is up on Patreon. <laughs> I had actually done it in, as kind of a Patreon exclusive sketch, so it's not actually posted anywhere. Um, though, at some point, uh, whenever I figure out doing prints with gold foil, um, <clears throat> I would like to make a print out of it. Um, I just need to figure that out. I know I can do it. I was just, I was hoping, really hoping to find like a print on demand spot that would do gold foil prints. And so far I haven't found one. Um, so, oh well, we'll have to, we'll have to figure out something else I you know it may be one of those things where I have to do like a limited edition print of it or something and work with a local printer because um, I know there are a bunch of places locally that that will do gold foil printing and um, do some really beautiful stuff with it and the nice thing there is that I could put it on like really nice paper too yeah she would be holding the blade but I'm kind of okay with it it's interesting because it's really easy for me to kind of make fun of fine artists that that just do something and then come up with the reasoning and the concept and the theme afterward <laughs> um, but at the same time I also get it because sometimes like you're not you don't want to overthink it you don't want your conscious mind to sit there and, and try and apply labels and stuff to what you're doing as you're doing it right because the subconscious mind just is so much cooler like let's let's just be real Subconscious mind is like way the hell cooler than the conscious mind. Um, so sometimes I get it, like, and it's not to say that there isn't a concept and then you're making shit up later, right? Even though sometimes it, can, it sometimes it is that, right? Because you don't. There are times you don't have a choice. Um, Meaning you're put in a position where, like, really you just want to do a cool image, but that's not going to sell stuff, <laughs> right? People, people need a deep meaning in their art, so... <clears throat> it
Looking the other way. Yes, exactly, Sariana. Exactly. But, you know, let's. Sometimes that can go too far, right? <laughs> um, I, I think. Uh, in in those instances, it's like there's only so much depth that that you can claim with the initial concept, and then anything past that is maybe somewhere between bullshit and just really subjective, <laughs> right? Um, <clears throat> which I mean. That's what we love about art, right? Is is that subjectivity? Um, if it didn't have that, I don't think we would care as much. <clears throat> And that's kind of why I say, like, I, I, I know there's something in all the flowers and the nature beyond just <laughs> that I grew up out in the country and I love those shapes and that, that feel. Um, I feel like there's more to it than that just because it, it does work very well with this. So I know that there is something... And it's not to say like, oh, there's a theme in there that I need to unlock, but I think there is a deeper binding there that I can figure out, which will kind of aid in, in other, in uh, further explorations, right? Yo, Joyce, thanks for the host. How are you doing? I've been loving your stuff on Instagram. I haven't been able to catch your streams as much, but I've been loving the stuff you've been posting. So I'll definitely um, have to get into one of your streams soon. And thank you, thank you. Yeah, we're um, having fun with our guardian demon themes here. <clears throat> I 
Oh, nice. Nice. I, you know, even when it's difficult sometimes to wake up early, I really enjoy it. I just feel better throughout the day. Um, I, I always feel like when I wake up a little late, then I can never quite get the right pacing in the day. I always feel like I'm trying to catch up, <laughs> you know, and that's just no fun. At some point, I'd also love to turn one of these into a more graphic, like, like line work and then flat colors, you know, to potentially do like a cool shirt from without getting into like all the gradients and shit. <clears throat> yeah, oh, it's the best when you're like, oh, I've done this, this, and this, and this. And hey, it's not even lunchtime there. Sorry, that was totally not in focus. I apologize. Now it is. I'm debating. I was going to do another moon, but going the other way, which I might, might still do, but I don't know if I need it. Because I am thinking of the uh, metal foil, you know, so I'm kind of thinking of like what other shapes could I do? I don't know if I'd want to do a design on this one per se, but maybe. The nice thing with foil is almost as fine a line as you can paint with the adhesive is how thin you can get it, which is cool. Um, so the only thing, Oz, <laughs> is for so long, I feel like my go-to for just a kind of graphic shape has been either square slash rectangle or circle. Right. Um, and, and it's not like I'm the only one. It's not unique to me at all. And so that's why on that, that previous one, I was like, you know what? I'm going to do a crescent moon. It still has a simplicity to it. It has a symbolism to it. Um, it kind of achieves a bit of the circular motif without actually just being a circle. But, here's the other thing, here's the other thing. What I could also do is play with texture, right? Similar to what we did on her, right? With where I, I dry brushed some of the adhesive. And so it, it takes on that textured kind of look um, there. So, um, yeah, you can see a little more of that mirror effect it's not quite mirror but there's too much texture for that but um yeah that that stuff you know so i could always play with that as well so even if i did a kind of circle i could it wouldn't have to be a flat kind of circle right And, you know, it doesn't, it also doesn't have to be like a big sort of thing. We could even just play with having a smaller hint at it, right? Which could be fun. And it could either be silver, so it has a moon vibe, or, or it could be gold, so it feels more like a sun. You know?
And one thing I want on all of these is for the figure to have like kind of a peaceful look about them. So. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I um. Let's see. Where where is she at? So the one that I. Don't worry, Twitch, we'll censor this one. You bastards. Not that anyone on Twitch would even notice, because nobody ever does. Ink on my hands. Gotta be careful with that. You don't wanna... Really, you tape? This shit's like... No, I'm not gonna rip. Um, so the, the image that I'm currently doing the shirt from, right, uh, this one, this was another one where I had imitation gold flake on it, and there was just something about it that just, it bothered me that I had imitation flake. So I actually put some, uh, moon gold, like, uh, which is 21 carat. Uh, cut with silver So I should say 24 karat cut with silver down to 21 karat um, so so now it, it has real gold real gold on it um, Which is cool Which is cool, so I did that the other day um, You yeah. you yeah. Thanks, Joyce. All right, let's get some water on this. Here. Water, water. And then the drawing, the original drawing for the cover of my book. Because I love how that gold foil turned out on the book cover. So I'm like, all right, I gotta, I'm gonna do that on the actual drawing as well. So I mostly had to just kind of wait till I felt more comfortable with the gold. Um, before actually delving into that and potentially fucking it up. Because that would make me sad. Um, it is not for sale yet. <laughs> you mean the one I just showed or, or the one from my book? I mean, both of them are not yet for sale. Um, but they probably will be at some point. Just those are the, like, the types of pieces where I'm I'm hesitant to let them go right now, but at the same time, like sometimes that's the best time. You know. We'll see. Did I leave the shit? Hang on. I left the the tape on there. I don't want to do. Um, yeah, so, so this one. Um, you see, I got the circle in there, 
Um, so I will lay gold on there at some point. At some point. Um, I've, I've used mostly gold foil. I've done some, uh, silver, right? This, the, this painting is, is silver foil. Um, I, uh, so I got like 24 karat gold foil um which i like but i actually liked the color of the imitation gold uh flake that i have so there's a place um la leaf which is actually very local here that does both white gold and moon gold right so the white gold i believe is mixed down with silver to like a 14 carat, I think. Um, so it's actually a little more white, a little more silver than I want, but the moon gold um, is mixed down to 21 carat with silver, and I love that color. So it's not a hot gold, because sometimes that can get a little much, you know? Um, so I actually really like that moon gold. Uh, warmer than silver, but not as hot as like a 24 karat gold. Um, though I loved how the gold turned out in, uh, you know, that one uh, ink piece that uh, that I'd put up for sale. Another uh, Guardian Demon piece. Um, Although that was actually one of the first ones to sell, which I was surprised. Um, I wasn't sure if uh, that one would sit around for a while or not, just because it was a higher price tag. But I'm glad it didn't, because I really liked it. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, and, I mean, like I said, I, I prefer the stuff that's not quite as hot as, like, pure gold. Um, but, you know, I could see the pure gold being useful in other areas. What I would love to do is get into a bit of water gilding um, because then you can like burnish the gold to a mirror finish um, but that shit takes more time than I have. You gotta prep the the clay bowl and that takes like hours and hours because you have to let the rabbit skin glue soak for a long time and then you gotta cook it a little bit and <laughs> it's just like, you know, then you apply the clay bowl and you let that dry and <sighs> I don't have that kind of time. I wish I did. I wish I did, but I don't. And I don't have anything currently that would be worth spending that kind of time on. <laughs> Uh, just for the gold portion. It's not that they're not worth it, but it's like, you know, at a certain point, then I would end up with like a, a drawing or, you know, a fairly loose painting that was just cost prohibitive in a way because the amount of time just that went into that shit. Ha <laughs> ha. 
pockets? What was the point of that? <laughs> Good times. I was considering adding some more, um, a couple other, uh, points redemption options, um, but it's tough because a lot, of, right now, I'm, I feel like I'm having to use the stream to also try and get, like, actual stuff done, so it's tough for me to quite want to like get too crazy with it even though like I had in the beginning I'd sent set up all kinds of points redemptions I just have not made them live yet right and they make more sense if live streaming is like you know a part of my income to, to put that kind of like time and stuff into it but currently Currently, I'm mostly needing to just like double up and get get stuff done that I can use for other things as well. But I was considering like doing a uh, like a. <laughs> um, I actually do own an Indiana Jones hat. <laughs> In fact, I think it was actually made by the people that made the original Indiana Jones hat. <laughs> I think. It was a place in England. Um... I do own some different hats. Because um, one of the things I was going to do is, um, yeah, do like a analysis of style kind of thing, right? So someone could plug an image, whether it's just, you know, another artist or um, or even their own, like whatever, whatever image they wanted to do and, and kind of break down sort of what's going on stylistically between the shape design or color choices or whatever, you know? So I thought that would be kind of fun. Um, chance for all of us to learn, like including myself. Right. But that kind of stuff takes time. Um, and then I was considering like demos being some kind of a points redemption. Like, hey, how would how would you go about drawing a whatever? That kind of a thing. <clears throat> uh, you guys. You guys. And gals and non binaries.
and the mermaids. You mermaids. Still trying to figure out why it keeps like getting blown out. And even though I knocked down, I thought I had knocked it down enough, but apparently not. I am going to use the restroom real quick. Real quick. Um, and then I'll need to figure out um, to move the mic a little bit. How, how we can get, because I have a whole other section over here on the right. I guess I could move the camera. Oh, bit at some point. Well, I'll use the restroom. We'll come back and deal with that. On the momento. BRB. I had said BRB and I totally forgot I actually have a BRB screen. Oh well. Missed opportunities. What on earth is going on? What on earth is going on? I'm not that big of a beer fan, though, so it would have to be something else. <sighs> um, I like bourbon okay. I prefer rye and scotch. Bring rye bourbon. By the way, I ordered way too, not, it's not way too much, but I did kind of spend a lot on some booze yesterday. Um, hang on, let me see what's going on here. Oh, I forgot, we also zoomed in. In. Um, but, so the reason I, I spent a lot is because I want to do a barrel aged vu carré. Alright, we're gonna hang on. Hang on. We're gonna get in on this shit. Realize my camera's all tilted all fucking weird. But 
that's uh, zoom in. Yo. Zoom in on you a bit. I didn't think this part through of like. working on a bigger... Actually, no, that's not true. I did think it through. I just changed my mind at the last second as far as... Uh, uh, I was initially gonna draw, originally gonna draw larger. That's, that's what it was. Uh, Vu Kare? is a V-I-E-U-X space C-A-R-R-E. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I have these, hang on, let's see. I have some, I have a couple of larger ones, but this is my little one liter barrel, right? Little one liter for barrel aging. It works fantastic, right? This little guy, oh, which way am I going? This little guy, little one liter, liter barrel. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, I like, I like this a lot, super cute. Um, so yeah, I just, you know, get enough stuff, you can make a liter worth of, of cocktail, barrel age it, gets all, you know, it gets like, not just smooth, but the flavors even out and find, find their place in the hierarchy, right? So, <laughs> right, those little, <laughs> um, so typically, when you do barrel age something, if you haven't done it before, you have to you have to just like take a little sip along the way every few days, especially when it's this small of a barrel. Um, it takes on the the barrel flavor very quickly. So. Um, and it can change like one week to uh, like one week, two weeks or three weeks will have a completely different flavor uh, to the point where uh, there are certain ones like the um, the Chancellor cocktail, which is like a almost like a um, Manhattan, but with port instead of vermouth, right? Um, it's delicious. You do a ruby port, um, although I prefer a tawny port, but typically it's a ruby port. But that one, if you age it for three weeks, it's too, it's too smooth in a way where it's not as interesting. So that one, like two weeks tops. You do three weeks and it is it's just not as good so that's why i say that's why i say have to because if you don't want to ruin a liter of cocktail <laughs> which is not always cheap in fact it's never cheap um you better not always not always sarah um Because some of what that'll do is it'll take out some of the the character, right? Um, it's not always a good thing because to me, if you're drinking a cocktail, you're having it because you enjoy the flavor of spirits, right? 
at least for me like i don't drink to get drunk i don't i hate being drunk like it's not fun um and so then you want to actually taste the spirits and if it's too smooth you don't get any of that right we had gone to you know, tiny girlfriend and i had gone to this uh cocktail bar it opened up a while ago now but at the time it was fairly new called apotheca uh beautiful setting like under the under the bridge on the la river and stuff and uh really really nice place um and opened by like people who are kind of legends in the mixology world right holy crap we were so disappointed everything we got so i think we got one or two cocktails a piece um every single one of them was like 16 to 20 dollars each and they tasted like juice like what's the point what is the why how are you charging twenty dollars for a cocktail that literally tastes like juice it's like what the fuck we looked at each other we're like you want to go to the raymond yeah let's go to the raymond we went there like we caught an uber over to the raymond we got a smoking jacket which is basically uh an old-fashioned um with it's like a smoked old fashioned delicious absolutely delicious and worth every penny so that's why i say yes it can be too smooth <laughs> um you know if because when you're paying for cocktails especially like good kind of top shelf cocktails that that are gonna run you you know 16 bucks these days like post pandemic almost all the cocktails now are like 16 to 20 dollars not post sorry mid pandemic or wherever the fuck we are in the grand scheme of things um they're expensive and so if you get something that literally just tastes like you know a fucking green juice i'm like well then i can just get a green juice what the hell is the point <laughs> you know i don't care if you're doing like fresh pressed juices and shit like if you're literally giving me juice then nope ain't having it don't care don't know don't care where's my water where my water at Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yes. Um, I feel like I had something I wanted to show you guys, and I don't remember what it was. Oh well. Oh well. Yeah. Or at least something that, like, would just be kind of a pain in the ass to make at home, right? Because I can do smoked cocktails at home, but, you know, it takes some prep and stuff, and, and I don't always want to do it. But they taste delicious, where you smoke the glass, right? Take some dried rosemary and torch it, and then put the glass over it and just let the rosemary smoke do its thing oh so good so good it's too early for happy hour <laughs> don't tempt me Frodo um so I do want to play with like hmm <laughs> Right? So if you also want to... 
I don't know what I'm going for now. This is going to be more compositional. But I would like to play with what I was saying, like some kind of a design that the the gold or silver or whatever I decide to use would take. And I think that could be cool. Um. And of course, my Indian roots want to rear their head and be like, Hey, how about a, a Lotus Paisley design? I should actually... I realize... I don't know... Um, yeah, Whiskey Hunter, what's up? <clears throat> yeah, so... When it comes, and Eichmann, hello. When it comes to, um, let's see, we have an absinthe party. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's very French. <laughs> they love their taxidermy. Um, <clears throat> how y'all doing? Uh, yeah, when it comes to whiskey. So I love rye cocktails, like whiskey cocktails tend to be my favorite. Um, I have a lot of gin cocktails and rum cocktails because Tiny Girlfriend likes those. She doesn't do as well with whiskey, it gives her more of a hangover, <clears throat> which is fine. I do love rum cocktails, so good rum agricole. I mean, a tea punch is one of my favorite and it's literally just <clears throat> rum a little bit of cane sugar and lime, like squeezed lime wedges. Like put three, four, or five lime wedges in there. Mix, mix it in with the sugar. Pour a couple ounces of rum, put ice, you're golden. <clears throat> and it's delicious uh, with the right rum. Um, but I do love whiskey cocktails. Um, but even then, I will pretty much only use whiskey that is also worth drinking neat. That doesn't mean it's expensive, right? Because, I mean, I'd say my favorite rye whiskey is Sonoma Rye. Um, it's like 40 bucks a bottle, and it is delicious. Super easy to drink neat. Um, <clears throat> Uh, yeah, Sariana, the um, tea punch. So typically the way they do it in the Caribbean, it's a little on the sweeter side. But if you go easy on the sugar, right? Because the rum is still sweet. The rum agricole is not like molasses rum. Um it's not like that. So it's not as sweet as like Captain Morgan, right? <laughs> like I'm like, it's not as sweet as like one of the worst rums. It's not actually one of the worst rums. Malibu is the worst rum. Um, but actually that's probably not even true. I, I don't even know because I hated rum before I found rum agricole. Um, but yeah, so it doesn't have to be, um, it doesn't have to be very sweet. And the lime, of course, offsets it, right? Um, but yeah, uh, Sonoma Rye, Sonoma Rye, so it's delicious. 
Um, their cherry wood rye is amazing. It's basically aged in cherry wood barrels. They do a really good, actually, cherry wood smoked bourbon. That is fucking awesome. Um, and all their stuff is like 40 to 50 bucks a bottle. So it's, uh, and it's good enough to sip um, and cheap enough to use in cocktails without, you know, breaking the bank. Oh, I, I don't know. I, I don't know about most. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay, good. Because <laughs> that just sounded. Uh... What's funny though is that there's um, uh, Saint George makes a delicious. Uh, oh, bye, Sariana. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for hanging out. Um, St. George makes a delicious spiced pear liqueur. Um, it does taste like Christmas, but it has a very natural flavor. And it's actually really nice for using. It's not something you drink straight. At least I wouldn't. It's too hectic for that. But literally put like a teaspoon of it, right, um, into a cocktail. Like you really don't need much. And a teaspoon in some cases might be too much because it's that spice flavor is strong. Um, and can very, very quickly overpower everything else in there. So it's best to just kind of like nudge it in there little by little. Until you find But it, it, you can make delicious cocktails with it. They're pretty rad.
Yo, Martest, what's up? How's it going? You caught me right as I'm like, I really should wrap up. <laughs> Test. I didn't realize it's 9.30 already. We got sidetracked talking about booze and then I got into actually trying to figure out this composition. Shit. Still want all the uh flowers and things. All the green growing things. <laughs> hmm. Um Yeah, I haven't uh you should let us know which one in the um food and drinks section of the um Discord. I'd be curious. I go back and forth with bourbon. Oftentimes it's just a little sweeter than I like. Great for cocktails, but not always. There's also something about the corn, the quantity of corn in it that doesn't always work the best for me. Um, and I'm not sure why. Meaning like I'll have a bit more of a hangover from bourbon than I do from rye or scotch. I love the flavor of bourbon, it just doesn't seem to agree with me as much, so I just don't really... don't really do much with it. I actually quite like that. <laughs> yeah, whiskey is is pretty um a pretty broad term. For us whiskey lovers, we need to know, <laughs> are you talking about scotch, rye, bourbon, Irish whiskey, Japanese whiskey? Is it a, is it a blend? Is it a single malt? Is it a single cask? Is it peated? Non-peated? I have a pretty delicious uh, peated whiskey from Okinawa. Apparently they have peat bogs over there. 
And I think there's another one that comes out of like, Tasmania or something. I think they have peat bogs over there too, but I haven't tried that one. I'm curious though. through this because I gotta wrap it up. I don't really want to like I don't want to leave it like partially finished because it's just a thummy and it's silly to come back to a thumbnail, right? Like an actual thumb, not, not like a send to the client thumb. Although something like this I'd be comfortable <laughs> Something to a client. I was actually never good at doing true thumbnails. Like you look at some of uh, Howard Pyle's thumbnails, uh, Frank Frazetta's thumbnails, you know, and they were they were legit thumbs. Super rough, clearly meant you know, just for the artist to be like, okay, does this, you know, whatever three minute composition feel good to me, you know? And I was never good at doing those. I always tended to want to get into some of the details right off the bat. <clears throat> Alright, so there is something there that I like. There is something there that I quite like. <clears throat> oh, Lafroig's my one of my faves. Nice. Yeah, I have a 25 year Lafroig. Um, because I got it for a good price. But I have opened that, but I only open it either on special occasions or, like, social occasions, right? It's not something that I just am going to drink by myself because that's just silly. Up, up, up. Wait, her feet, her feet are left. I'm done here. Okay, okay, 
All right, we gotta call it. Gotta call it. Gotta call it. Um. Oh, let's see here. <clears throat> um, I don't think I actually have time to raid anybody. Um, I have a call at. Well, in about 20 minutes, I gotta clean up my shit here. Um, so, um, we are not going to raid. I'm going to leave you guys hanging. I apologize. Um, but, um, you know, there are a lot of people on. I'm sure you can find someone to uh, entertain yourselves with. Right? Right. Wait. <laughs> yeah, so I will be back uh, Saturday. Um, I think I'll start about noon. Um, and uh, I think we'll be getting into back into some oil painting on Saturday. So uh, that should be, you know, that should be fun. We'll, we'll, uh, I will have sealed the leaf on her and then I'll be getting back into the into the paints into the oils so um yeah I think that's that's probably what we're gonna do on Saturday so Whee! yeah see not's good he's good all right my friends uh I got a jet and I will see y'all Saturday noon Pacific time. Um, autumn streaming tonight, 7 p.m. Pacific time. So, you know, hang out on his stream tonight. I'll probably be lurking and either writing or painting or drawing or who knows what. Whatever the fuck I feel like. All right, dudes. I will catch y'all later, my friends. Peace, 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 peace.